Exchange responding to speculation that President Tom Farley may take the fall for yesterday's technical glitch. Fox Business senior correspondent Charlie Gasparino with me now with the latest. Charlie, he loses his job over that three and a half hour uh, blackout? Well, we, we asked about that. There was lots of talk on the floor today that heads were going to roll at the New York Stock Exchange over the poor response by, by Stock Exchange management yesterday, particularly Mr. Farley. They, you know, I will say this. Rudy Giuliani came on our show yesterday and said because they did not respond soon, because they mishandled it, they caused a lot of investor uh, confusion. So this is what we did. We asked the New York Stock Exchange what's going on there. They're saying, as of right now, they, they support Tom Far Farley and his handling of yesterday's outage and that he is not is not being asked to step down. That's what we're getting from Kelly Leffler, the head of PR, who actually is the wife of the CEO of the New York Stock Exchange or the head of ICE, Intercontinental Exchange, which owns the New York Stock Exchange, Jeff Sprecher. So that's what they're saying. They're standing behind Farley. But I will say this, uh, all day today we heard from floor traders that uh, heads were going to roll and possibly, and Farley was 50-50 on the fence whether he was going to take the fall. They are saying not, that's not the case. But I will tell you this, uh, New York Stock Exchange, its handling of yesterday's outage from the, from the PR rollout exactly what they were communicating to the public, to what was going on behind the scenes, is being, being very much criticized by a lot of people in management, in government. Rudy Giuliani, as I said, the former mayor of New York City, on the air yesterday, basically lambasting uh, Sprecher and Farley about the way they handled it. They basically, he basically said they caused more confusion than it, was, than it was worth, given the fact that people can still trade. But anyway, at least as of now, the New York Stock Exchange saying it is behind Farley. His job is not in jeopardy. Back to you. Charlie Gasparino, thank you very much. Breaking news there on yesterday's NYSE shutdown. Well, it's